Greetings once again, Shaman out there. Doomsday's Den back again with another episode of Shaman King Flowers, where previously, Hannah, while going through some introspection about the whole Flower of May situation, comes upon none other than Tao Men, who is being confronted, or finishing up, dealing with those who are the sons of the previous Team Nile that Tao, well, Iron Maiden Jean, though I guess it would technically be Tao Jean? Regardless, that Jean previously had killed during the shaman fight so long ago. Initially, Tao Men goes after Hana, not initially wanting to accept that Hana will be the leader of Team Hao. And at first, Gyako and Yohane come to Hana's aid in fending off Tao Men, but Tao Men's god class spirit ends up overpowering them. And so, Hannah decides to once again pull the Oni from within his body that are only supposed to come out when he's on the verge of death. Naturally, the Dark Oni once again manifests, sending Hannah on a rampage, even managing to get the best of Shamish. But as Tao Men actually rejoices at the sight of this overwhelming power, feeling as though with this, they'll be able to win, and Tao Men will get his wish to recover the soul of Tao Jin or resurrect his mother, who had previously been killed by a minion of Yosuke slash Yivis, the god in opposition to Hao. But seeing Tao Men's crying face triggers memories in Hana from long ago. If you'll remember, towards the end of the Shaman King reboot, they had met when Hana was six and Tao Men was just a baby. This realization overwhelms Hannah, and the Dark Oni breaks and shatters. Hannah is then confronted by Hao, who tells him that he is dead, that he pushed his body way too far with something that is not supposed to manifest the way that he has been doing so. And while yes, Hao will resurrect Hannah, he needs Hannah to go stronger for the coming trial. And so, how manifests a version of Yo from the end of the shaman fight, complete with all of his abilities along with Amitamaru and specifically the white swan. Seeing this as a great opportunity, Hana jumps at this with his own version of Amitamaru. Clashing with his father though, he's quickly outmatched because while Hana does manage to naturally form his oversoul, he doesn't have the skill and experience to handle it properly and he's quickly defeated by the 14 year old version of his father. What a weird situation. And so, while the rest of Team Hao is dealing with the uh, dead body of their leader, Hao has decided to send Hana's spirit to another commune, one on the edge of a beach filled with warplay of an older design. What does Hannah's training inside the Great Spirit entail? And what will Team Hao do now that their leader is no longer amongst the living? Join me as I find out, won't you? Episode 10, Island of Death Zero. Huh, interesting. Death Zero. Plane. An airplane. Yeah. Where am I anyway? I died then met Uncle Hao in the afterlife. And then, and you still like something vital. <laughs> Damn it. I'm sick of this. Oh, hey you. What are you doing over there? Oh, you weren't going to hit that with those dirty shoes of yours. I mean, you mean the dilapidated looking plane? What? Sakura. Sakuta? I'm a pilot of that fighter. Saku... Taro Sakura. Sakutara. Hmm, handsome. You're dressed somewhat strangely. Are you a native? Is this World War II era? I can't just let you leave now that you've seen my plane. Ugh, <laughs> it'll be trouble your parents come looking for you. Does he not know that he's dead? Life or death, the choice is yours. Got it, kid? Could Hannah even be hurt? He simply pointed a pistol at me. Oh, <laughs> he actually shot me. I can't believe it. You speak Japanese? Hey, he was speaking Japanese from the start. Of course I do. Why do you have a gun anyways? You're a criminal. I'll kill you. <laughs> How pitiful. <laughs> to think a civilian like you is still around. I said it's among my fallen comrades. Oh, whatever. I don't know what a kid like you is doing here. But you better scram. Don't tell anyone about my plane. And keep your feet away from it. Wait a minute. Where are we? What are you doing here? In a small island in the south. The enemy has started advancing. But the war still rages on. Or? Yes. I'll fly away from here. It's all I live for now. Live for? But you're already... Yeah, he doesn't know. Oh, yeah. A plane. An enemy fighter. Huh. Interesting. Luckily, it ignored my down plane. Of course, it's junk. But it's puzzle to come to retrieve it. You gotta hide it. Help me, boy. Huh? How do you move something like this? The wheels are still good. If Lyra says it lost some of the fuselage, then the two of us, it should move. Alright, boy. 
If the enemy comes back, we're dead. Why the hell am I doing this? Ugh, jeez, that can't be easy. Even if it's a tad lighter, it's still a plane. Once more, Ugh. Yeah, headed amongst the brush. Tired already? You're a scrawny kid. Do you play sports at school? I'll tell you about my that curse place. Don't like school. That's no good. In poor areas. Make sure you won't ever go to school. Being able to go to school is a blessing. Thank your parents to go to school. I want to talk about my parents even less. Alright, since you helped me, I'll teach you. Teach. Hold on, why should I learn anything from you? Take a seat. Why don't you learn how to study, you'll come to love school. <laughs> <laughs> He's essentially a Mitabara. You have to study while you're still young. You have to make the most of the time you have. That's the meaning of the Nino Maya Kundra statue at the school entrance. What are we talking about here? First, arithmetic. Multiplication? Tell me the twos tables. Hey, kitty be. <laughs> How long has it been? They shut me down in midair, and I had to make a crash landing here. Fortunately, my plane is still repairable. How did he die? Since then, I spent my days gathering parts from the island. You ended up being a great help. Thank you, boy. I finally get it. I'm still in the great spirit. Yeah, of course. What? Since so you haven't noticed, I'll be blunt. You're already dead. Died during your plane crash. Impossible. I'm obviously alive right now. Of course you'd say that. You wouldn't be stuck here if you accepted the truth. Right. Tamal said it this once. When we die, your soul it's your soul that determines where you go. Whether it's heaven or hell, the world you end up is nothing but your own heart. Maybe it was for you who said that. God. Now, that's the kind of thought that I think of when I, I think of what happens when you die. It kind of depends on your belief. Doesn't matter. This place is coming for your soul and others like you. It's like a modern version of the Ashura Hell. Like a mini Ashura Hell. Ashura Hell. Mini and Ashura Hell. Yeah. One of the six realms. Oh. Those who spend their lives fighting are destined to repeat their battles eternally. I think it's something like that. Really? That's the first I've heard of that. But Ashura, huh. Is that why Zoro in One Piece is Ashura has the six swords and all that? Three heads? That sounds pretty vague to me. Shut up, it's not like I really studied this stuff. Did your mother tell you those stories? Or does your family run a temple? No, an inn. An inn? Never mind, it's not important. How should I put the shaman? The ones who connect the worlds of the living and the dead. You know, in this moment, he actually looks like Yo. Shoot, I think this is the first time he's had an actual laid back expression on his face. Shaman's the one who connect the worlds of the living and the dead. I'm the son of that lineage, Hana Arasakura. You know how you don't get it, right? That's that's why we changed our line of work. You can't feed yourself doing just doing shaman work. You're right, I don't get it. But let's say that she's saying it's true. And we're in this we're in a spirit commune. Then you're in this mini Ashura hell as well. Yeah. <laughs> that would kind of raise the question it's like, aren't you here as well? What does that mean for you? Me. Well enough of this idle chatter. Let's eat and go to sleep. Really keep the fire burning. Too late now, but I'll walk you home in the morning. I'm also a resident of this hell. And to think of it, he did say something like that. What? What was that? It's hot. Shit. I come to recover my plane. Really? It's the A second infirmary division. The mild cats. America. American, right? I'll set a chance against them. Run away, Hannah. Oh, run something soon. Huh. Did they play a part in any of this? God, the golem. I don't feel like dealing with the golem again, man. The golem is such an annoying thing to deal with. It's powerful when you don't want it to be and underpowered when you do need it. So, <laughs> about this. <laughs> Three kids in a dead body. Yeah, he's a corpse. Things will get bad if we just leave him here. Are you sure Hannah is really dead? You're asking that now? He's not breathing anymore. That doesn't mean much in our line of work, I guess, right? Why are you standing with us like you belong here? It's obvious. I'm a member of Team How too. Yeah, he's right. Anna, you and your- uh, Anna. Oh, well, technically. Illumi and her entrances, I swear. It's just like, hey, we need an exposition, please! And in comes Illumi. If the five legendary warriors received an elemental spirit, the spirit of thunder was held by Tao Ren. Plus, one of the leading forces of the shaman fight, and the leader of the X-Laws, Iron Maiden Jean. A child was born from their union, which I still kind of wonder about that union, as it were. Like, I know a lot of time passed, but how? Not how the person, how the concept. Like, I've seen some odd pairings before, but this is... You know, I mentioned last episode about how the whole resurrection, dying training, and being resurrected more powerful than you were before was very Dragon Ball, but this 
If this is not the most Bulma and Vegeta pairing possible, the Holy Boy, Tao Man, what a name, the Holy Boy, Tao Man, Basona Shamash. He's a shaman thoroughbred who inherited these spirits at age 7. There's no way that God wouldn't choose him, even if he has personality issues. <laughs> oh god. Oh, issues. Lumi, what are you talking about? Looks like he also inherited his parents' stubbornness and sentimentality. Right. It's a weird mixture. Oh, they went into spirit ball mode. Have I seen Shamish in spirit ball mode? Weird. I'm sure you guys will understand what I'm talking about soon enough. What a rude thing to say. I get it. You must be the team's director. Alumi Numbridge. Let me say this. Whatever you, you accept or not, and it's still the boss. I understand how you feel. But that's just the way he is. He's a stubborn fool. <laughs> but with this little trip, Hannah will remember his true self. Oh. He'll come back to us after he's matured a bit. And that might change your mind about him. Okay. So his true personality. Maybe that's... Yeah, I guess that would explain... Oh no. He had personality issues even when he had most of his memories. But who knows? Maybe he'll gain something through being dead. I mean, a lot of characters tended to gain a form of enlightenment after they passed on. What? No. Will you help me carry Hannah away from here? It'd be a real pain if anyone sees us. You've already got a car right here. Uh, and also... And I gather up some of those mummy bandages. Okay, I need you... The stuff Hannah in the trunk. Put the corpse in the inn's large ice box. Oh god. Hurry before you rot. It'll be the perfect place to cool down his idiot head. Roger boss. He'll rot. But who's gonna be driving? Those adults can handle that. They're just passed out. Oh. Oh, I had genuinely thought he killed them. I'm not supposed to kill anyone. Mm. After all, that's one of my parents' ironclad rules. Ah. I guess considering what... Ren went through, and then Jean. Yeah, they wouldn't want that for their son. That might have been something they bonded over. They had killed before, and they had come to a point where they really regretted the lives they took. So it does make a degree of sense that Tao Men would a raise to not to value life a lot more. It doesn't mean he can't be cruel, but he values life. Oh, mild cat. Damn. You can't let them find you, got it? They're armed. Well trained. They're an elite troop. And the most troublesome is the tank. Don't look up. It's got a 75mm cannon, a 7.62mm machine gun, and a thick 66, 76mm armor plating. Don't stand a chance against it. No way, Hannah. Oh, be a diversion. Oh, oh God. He. Us with him. That's not how you avoid a fight. Us. Oh, and plus, we're in the Mini Ashura Hell. He only fights for the hell of it. Then, you're in the Mini Ashura Hell as well. Right. That can't be right. No one gets in fights for fun. And yet, you seem to. Like, you seem to want to fight. And only if you could die. If you lose, it's an insult to my fallen comrades. I sure know he fights because they want to die. And has their own reasons to fight. Oh, he's so then why is he Oh, sword? Yes, that's it. Oh, that background track going off. I'll take care of this and hear what he's got to say for himself. That's that. A kid? A katana. Where did he get that? Stop. Do you hear me? It's an elite troop. I did listen, and I know that I can fight using a stronger visualization than them. We're inside the Great Spirit. With that in mind, you can make anything happen just by thinking about it. Oversoul. Demon Helmet. This with a huge katana. Fight an army? Big deal. Oh god, now he sounds like how. Yep, yep, there it is. If he can do it, then I sure as hell can too. Alright. Oh, demon face. It's a demon face. Eat this. I'm gonna read Shockwave Budagiri. Jeez. Gee. <laughs> Looks like a friggin' monster. Perfect. You're next. Hold the line and attack. Oh my god. You're next in line. Jeez. Are you sure you don't like fighting Hannah? You seem to be reveling in it. Retreat. Oh, you're back to make life difficult for us. Let's go. Shinko Budagiri. Jeez. Insane. This is completely crazy. This isn't real. Does that mean Hannah was right? Am I already? Yeah, what now if you have that realization? Oh, did he have someone he left behind? No, I'm not gonna die. Oh, not gonna die. I felt good. How was it? I guess you figured out that ain't the real world. Or are you given that faith? Hannah, did you kill them? I have been trying to tell you they're already dead. Then what am I? This is war. What became of the country that we risked our lives fighting for? Is everyone living in peace? I don't know much about war. Earlier you mentioned a movie. War isn't a part of a movie. It really happened. Oh, wait. Oh, got shot in the head. That's why he doesn't remember. He died before he even realized it. I'm sorry, Chihara. I need to go after all. Yes, I understand. Yes, I understand. But please come back. Yes, I'll use all my strength. 
strength uh, and come back alive. I'll always be waiting for you. Yeah. See, this is the kind of stuff I wanted for the remakes here. Like, little details, added stuff, like, flesh out certain moments, give them a little bit more impact in places. That's what I really felt the remake was lacking, that they bring here. Hey, what's the matter? Hannah, I'd like to ask for a favor. At the bottom of the sea is my plane and my remains. Oh, can you take us home? Hey, holy shit. Holy crap. <laughs> See, that's the kind of stuff that always got me, that they cut out of e each adaption of Shaman King, was the moments where Yo would go around Fumbari helping out spirits. They cut all of that out. Every adaption, they cut that out. It's kind of like with Yu Yu Hakusho, where they cut out a huge part of him when he was, you know, just a spirit. And to a certain degree, I get it but that feels like the kind of stuff you should have shortened but still included just showing the actions of yo around fumbari helping out people you know putting spirits to rest helping them move on or deal with certain issues because i don't know just that moment that moment hits so hard just a simple request could you please take my remains home i don't know that like triggered something in me that really hit me hard i have to wonder what is it that i was trying to teach him the value of what it means to be alive or what it means to be dead to be able to not be able to go back the value of a life hmm. i guess yeah hannah never really had to learn that he has never really had to embrace what it means to be a shaman yo in the original shaman king he did easily and casually he would put his body and life on the line for so many people both living and dead even though we came to find out he doesn't really care for humans much but he still wants them to be able to rest in peace he still do so much but hannah never really had to deal with that he never had to grow from that huh i don't know man there's there's something really deep going on here and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Time and time again, I I really do find myself loving this series. It's everything that OG Shaman King was. Something with a lot of heart, a lot of passion, a lot of love, and soul. <laughs> as ironic as that might be. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also remember to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I've been Dudes Dizin. And I hope to see you later. Till then, bye bye